so at the beginning of this journey it started very hopeful and we really didn't know what we were getting into um then came the diagnosis which led to a surgery which led to a lot of hope and that led us to our first real let down when we realized the surgery wasn't going to do what we wanted it to do and that we were still going to have to do fertility treatments and it crushed me so then we pursued fertility specialists and we started with IUIs I was really hopeful because our doctor gave us a lot of hope and the first one failed It's really sad to be so numb to something so heartbreaking, but we did two IUIs and they both failed, which led us alternatively to a different clinic and IVF. Well, then we fundraised and friends, family, co-workers showed out and we were able to start IVF. In her, and, her and wife want to have a child. And so praise God. Uh, I just want y'all to pray over her this morning. And, and pray that God would help them have a child. And next Mother's Day, who I'm about to get blessed. Next Mother's Day, uh, we'll hold that baby. Pray. Precious Heavenly Father, Jesus. the author of life, we just ask you in the powerful yes. name of Jesus, yes, Jesus that you would anoint Kenzie's body right now. Yes, Lord. That help she them to have conceive a, child. a baby, Lord. We're yes. just praying for her and Wyatt. Yes. Lord, we thank you that. You do bless us. Yes. And we thank you that you hear your children when yes, we pray. Yes, you do, sir. And it, we as mothers stand in agreement right now yes, before Lord. you, yes. laying our hands on Kenzie, that you would just touch her body and yes. help her to conceive a precious little baby. Jesus. And so, Lord, we're trusting you. Yes. And we're putting our the faith power of the in Holy your Ghost word, come Lord, upon her right that now. That you would come upon her yes. and bless her and just help her body, Lord, to be able to conceive. We thank you, Lord. We're just going to give you thank in advance for what you're going to do we love you and we praise you and we're going to give all the glory to you lord in your holy and precious name and powerful name we pray amen church give a praise this morning amen come on now all right amen i like all that amen that blessed don't pray ye one for another you so that prayer really kind of solidified the feelings we had towards going through IVF. We were ready. I can't say we were excited. But we were terrified. Um, but through all the fundraising and everything, it was possible. And so we started injections every day. And I believe I did injections for nine days leading up to the egg retrieval. And the egg retrieval in itself is one of the most emotional things I've ever had to go through just you go into it with certain expectations and you never know what's going to happen so we retrieved nine eggs of that nine six were fertilized five no, six were mature five fertilized and at the end of the day we ended up with four perfect little embryos frozen um so we continued just to follow protocol and I rested for a good solid three weeks while waiting for the transfer. Our doctor um, does them at a specific time every month and so that was stressful for me because I just wanted to get everything going but at the same time I was really glad we did because it gave us time just to relax and that's something we haven't done in months. We kind of just got to 
do just really do nothing, which was nice. So, August 31st, 2021 was transfer day. And just seeing the little embryo go where it's supposed to go just makes you feel so hopeful. But at the same time, we knew we still needed a reserve that it could fail. And we were prepared for that. And so we went home pregnant on August 31st. The closest we've ever been to being pregnant. And that was probably one of the happier days of my life. But then, on Labor Day 2021, was truly the happiest day of my life. Morning. So I always pictured this video different. I always thought I'd fall on the floor. Cry, you know. But IVF kind of takes the shock out of you, but you can still be disappointed. Yesterday was exciting. I seen, when I say faint, I mean, I think I made it up in my head, but other people seen it too, but I've never even seen that before. I've never seen a maybe line. So this morning, it's there. I don't know if you can see it. I don't think you can. Oh, you can, maybe, I don't know, but it's there. Like six other tests that I haven't even looked at yet. And yes, I took like six because I just took one of every brand that I have again. Okay, let's look at the other ones. Let's see. So, I'm pregnant. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get tired of seeing that word. Um, and we did transfer a little baby peanut. So, that's the embryo that we did. And so, this is baby peanut. And I Apparently, I'm in denial because I take a test every day, and I have for the past week and a half. And we're due in May. So, that prayer Brother Hal said, you know, we'll see this baby. Here comes next Mother's Day. Whether I'll be nine months or I'll have a newborn in my hand, it, it's just a miracle. And I just want to thank every single one of you for prayers, <laughs> the fundraisers, the love. Me and Wyatt are speechless, and we just want to say thank you, and we love y'all so much. Baby Moore's coming soon. Bye.